Hello everyone. I hope all of you are doing fine. Chat GPT is expanding its presence day by day. Every developer is thinking of integrating Chat GPT in their day-to-day -day workflow. However, when I play with OpenAI's multiple services, I realize the potential that OpenAI has to offer in terms of simplifying our lives. In today's video, I'll show you how you can generate questions using OpenAI's API which is powered by GPT-3 and this entire solution is something that you can try with very few lines of code. So without wasting any further time, let me kickstart the video. In this video, I'll show you how you can generate questions from simple sentences that you input using OpenAI. For this particular activity, I'll require OpenAI's library as well as Gradio. I'll create a small little interface using Python's Gradio library. So that is something that I have in mind. So these are the two libraries that I'll require which I'll quickly import. So let me quickly run the cell. Now that the installation is done, I basically have to import these two libraries. So I'll say import OpenAI and import Gradio as GR. So I'll quickly run the cell. In order for you to successfully execute the entire program, all you require is a secret key or an API key from OpenAI. It's freely accessible on OpenAI's website. So all you have to do is create an account on OpenAI's website and you have to click on this URL to get your own API key. Once you have the API key, all you have to do is you have to create a variable called as openai.api underscore key and paste the value into a string variable and then basically execute that cell. So I'll quickly run the cell which has my API key. Here is where the main part of the video comes in wherein I create a function called as openai underscore chat. Here is where you will pass in an input sentence. Once the input sentence is basically read by OpenAI's API, it will return a question. What all do you have to supply in order to create this entire solution up and running? Well, here is where I'll discuss about every small nitty gritty that you'll have to keep in mind before you get started. So firstly, I'll create a string variable called as template. Now template is basically an input variable that will teach OpenAI's API what you want to achieve. Okay. So what I've defined initially is something called a sentence wherein I pass in the sentence to OpenAI's API. The first sentence is India won the 1983 World Cup, which was the third edition of the Cricket World Cup. The question that I ask is who won the 1983 Cricket World Cup? I keep a blank here and a question mark and I say the answer to this is India. Similarly, the second sentence that I input is Google was founded on September 4th, 1998 by Larry Page and Sergey Brin. So this is the input sentence. The question that I want to generate out of the sentence is in which year was Google founded? And the answer is 1998. So this is my initial input template that I want to feed into OpenAI. When a new input text is entered. So for example, when I enter a new sentence, I will just enter the sentence without the sentence prompt in the UI, which is where I have to append sentence the string initially, and then the input prompt, which is what I'll do in the initial section. Now the next thing that I do is I create a prompt. So prompt is equal to template, which is the initial template plus my input prompt, which has the appended input sentence. I pass this entire prompt to the OpenAI's completion.create function. Here is where I'm specifying the prompt. I'm specifying the engine, the maximum number of tokens and the amount of randomness that I want to create in the output using temperature. And the output to this is what is saved into a variable called as completion. Inside completion, you just have to extract the text value of the output, which is something that resides into completion.choices0 which is again a list and here is where you have access to the text variable as well. Once you have message in a variable called as message, this message variable will contain a string which will be like a multi-line string. So I want to split that string into multiple lines, which is where I'm using slash n. 
in the output list there would be multiple questions generated you would have sentences as well i only want the first question which would comply to the input sentence that i've inputted which is what i've done here so i iterate through the entire list elements if there is question that is found in the sentence i append that index into a variable or an a list variable called as out underscore index if the out underscore index is not empty then what i do is i basically calculate the minimum value of the index that i have extracted and essentially it is where questions were found and the first place where i found the question was was related to the sentence that i created once i have done that i return the basic question that has been generated by open ai so i'll quickly run you through the entire output and how the interface looks like so this is the function that i've just imported right now and here is where i create an interface using gradio just one line of code gr dot interface i call the function which is open ai chat input is equal to text again output is equal to text again and i call the launch function so i'll quickly run this cell so here is a small interface and now i'll paste a sentence Saurav Ganguly made 183 runs against Sri Lanka in 1999 so i'll quickly press submit and here is the question what was the highest score by Saurav Ganguly in 1999 answer 183 india's independence day is celebrated on 15th august every year what is india's independence day answer 15th august so by inputting a sentence you are able to generate questions without much of a hassle so if you are a teacher or if you are an organization and if you want to create say questions out of say text sentences then gpt3 is there to solve your problem uh you can basically have different versions of questions as well i wanted to show you the vanilla version of how you can create questions using an input prompt as well as uh, the output that is there uh you can deploy it using gradio in a simple interface and utilize it so these are exciting times wherein you can create end to end ml solutions with very few lines of python code you can you basically using pre trained models and you're kind of using the magic of ai and ml So this is something that I wanted to demonstrate in today's video. I hope you found this video informative. If you do like the content that I post on my channel, it would be super super motivating if you can press the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to be notified for amazing videos on data science and machine learning. Thank you so much for watching the video.